Hey there, my name is Joe Poliak, San Francisco Bay Area real estate agent with Rise Homes, and I make videos like this for people like you who might be thinking about buying or selling real estate here in the San Francisco Bay Area, or if you're just looking to get some information about the local market. This is a November 2023 real estate market update. I'm shooting this video mid-December. This is for data from November, where we compare the data of November 2023 versus November 2022 uh, for single family home sales and also condo and townhome sales in San Mateo County. Let's jump right into it. So let's start with single family homes. New listings. There were 208 new listings in November 2022, and in 2023, that number was 201. That's a decrease of 3% year over year. Inventory was 481 homes for sale at the end of November 2022. And in November 2023, that number was 400, a decrease of 17%. So continuing the trend of decreasing inventory. The number of homes sold in November 2022 was 253, and that number was 280 in November 2023. So that's an increase of 11% year over year. Average days on market last year was 27. This year, that number is 25, almost the same. Average sales price was 2.415 million and some change last year and this year November 2023 2.287 million and some change a decrease of about 5% year over year median sales price last year was 1.710 and this year that number is 1728165 so that's a decrease of about 1% year over year median price per square foot last year was $1,063 and this year that number is $1,060 again essentially unchanged year over year the percentage of list price received last year was 99% and this year that number is 103%. Sales volume was 611 million last year and that number was 640 million this year, an increase of 5% year over year. And lastly, months of inventory last year was 1.6 and this year that number is 1.3. So all in all, single family home sales in San Mateo County is uh, prices essentially remain unchanged, more or less, uh, year over year. Inventory is down quite a bit. Interest rates remain essentially, I think, more or less around the same where they were exactly a year ago. I think that's caused the market to kind of remain a little bit steady. Now, the main thing that's driving the market to remain very hot and still be a, a competitive seller's market right now, and just to give you an idea, we just sold a home in South San Francisco where, where we received a total of 12 offers and it sold for significantly over asking price. And I'm hearing a lot of other listings that are selling throughout the San Francisco Bay Area, experiencing the same kind of activity. What's really probably driving this is that inventory continues to go down, continues to remain low. Okay, let's jump into condos and townhomes. The number of new condo townhomes that hit the market in November, 2022, 61. This year, that number is 70, an increase of about 15% year over year. Inventory last year was 183, and this year it is 1 95, an increase of 7% year over year. The number of sold listings last year was 89, and this year that number is 67. So that's a decrease of about 25% year over year. Average days on market is unchanged year over year. 45 days last year, 45 days this year. Average sales price last year was 971,000 and some change, and this year that number is a million 56,000 and some change. So that's an increase of about 9% year over year. Last year, median sales price was 879,000. This year, median sales price is 928,000. That's an increase of 6% year over year. Median price per square foot last year was $806. This year, that number is $794. So just a decrease of about 1% year over year. Total sales volume last year was 86 million, and that number this year is 70 million. That's a decrease of 18% year over year. And lastly, months of inventory last year was 1.9, and this year it is 2.5. So all in all, it's not as hot of a market for condos and townhomes in San Mateo County, and we are seeing that winter slowdown. Inventory levels seem to be coming up a little bit, although average and median sales price numbers are up. But all in all, the total sales volume being down rather significantly, I believe, is a symptom of us heading into this winter market. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it valuable, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the share button wherever you're watching this video. Of course, don't forget to comment, give us your feedback, or reach out to me directly if you have any questions about the real estate market or if you want to chat about any more of these numbers. 
Thanks again, and I hope you make it a great day.